yeah it is started good morning everybody from two very significant schools of uh, hungary i would like to welcome uh, the representative uh, from the grosich gula school in hungary um ms maria musula she's a teacher and we would also hope to have uh, mr mihali uh, kish director very soon I would also like to welcome uh, the director of uh, Ambedkar School in Mishkol City, uh, Dr. Tibor Derdak. And I would also like to, of course, welcome uh, um, uh, Nora Teichler from Ambedkar School and all the students of both the schools. Namaste and welcome to this special program by the Embassy of India in Hungary and Amrita Shergil Cultural Center. This uh, program is a special program curated specially for the students of these two schools keeping in mind that we are introducing you the indian culture and the special traditional indian musical instruments to you i must tell you that uh, we are celebrating for 75 weeks the 75th independence day anniversary of india which will happen on 15th of august 2022 that day we would have completed 75 years of indian independence from the uh, imperial rule so we are celebrating this in various ways and one of the way very important way is to celebrate with the people of hungary celebrate the india hungary relations and celebrate the beautiful beautiful amalgamation of indian culture for the Indi uh, the hungarian people so today we bring uh, to you a glimpse of indian music presented by our uh, tabla teacher dr chirayu bhole and a very fine hungarian musician mr georgi molnar I would like to welcome Chirayu ji and Georgi to begin today's program and uh, give an introduction and start this interesting introduction of Indian musical instruments with some interesting presentations and performance and later interaction with the students. Chirayu ji and Georgi, I hand over the speaking to both of you. Thank you, madam. Ah. Uh, today it's my honor that uh, with the support of uh, tanuja madam uh, and embassy of india i am going to present a brief introduction about indian music and with me today i have uh, can you can I, can you see my uh, whole picture ma'am yeah okay sorry yeah and today dr george mulnar is going to accompany with me for my presentation and simultaneously i am also going to accompany him for his presentation so i am not taking much time and i am going to start to brief the uh, indian culture uh, in india because we have very less time so i am trying my level best to brief you some more important elements of indian music first uh, we have to know that in india the music has a wide and very deep culture and it has a different different forms of music here today being a tabla teacher and performer i just want to concentrate on the element of music and it is an instrumental music because in india the whole music is bifurcated into three parts the singing playing that is the uh, instrumental playing and dance in these three main categories there are so many sub categories in singing there is a classical singing there is a semi classical singing there is a folk singing which belong to different different states of india and it is very much uh, versatile uh, but the base is classical same way in instrumental music also 
there are so many instruments string instruments wind instruments percussion instruments and there are so many dances classical dances like kathak bharatnatyam kuchipudi odissi mohiniattam and same way there are folk dances also and each folk dance has their different unique style related to their state's culture but today i am just going to concentrate on the instrumental music string and percussion so first i am going to start with my own instrument it this is known as tabla this instrument is become a very versatile instrument why i am talking telling the versatile because it used to play with all kind of instrumental music vocal and even dance like kathak and other some special dances with this on this instrument we are presenting a solo compositions solo presentation that's why this instrument is become a traditional instrument of indian classical music from last 500 500 years this instrument has created a different different era of its own periphery this instrument has its own language also i am just going to demonstrate uh, how it works and with the ppt also i am going to show you the importance of this instrument and even you will understand the what are the various style of music i am just going to brief you with that so before i start my presentation i am just going to explain this instrument has two sides and this instrument has two different sides this instrument is known as tabla and this instrument is known as dagga this instrument is produce sharp sound it is called impression of the sound and this instrument is used for to create a bass and modulation so these are the basic sounds and it has a different different names for the sounds like ta tin ga ta ha din with this sounds we are creating the small small phrases and with the help of the phrases we are creating the compositions and we are creating a different different rhythms also now i know that in europe and western countries we you are used to play the rhythm like waltz the uh, rock beat the soul beat now if we say that what is a waltz beat waltz beat has a six beats or three beats like this so same rhythm we are using in tabla is known as the rhythm name is called dadra six beat like this so whatever whether we are in the western countries or india or whatever eastern countries where only the forms are different but the rhythm is same same way for the like disco beat so this is disco beat but in tabla i want to play like this so this way we are producing the sound for the accompaniment for the instrument now i request georgi to just play a uh, 16 bits tune as a vilambit lai i am just going to show the composition to them now i am going to present a composition in the 16 bit cycle and georgi will accompany me for that 16 bit cycle and i will play a small compositions for you and i will improvise on the spot in front of you 
I hope you will like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, one. It's a very important, very famous tal in Indian music. So I'm just going to play a one composition. composition it was just the first two lines but with the help of this rhythm cycle i i was improvising on the spot and i the circle in my mind was going on and accordingly i i was playing now this is a very slow speed same way we can play in a very high speed also like just the fast speed okay. The same rhythm, but the cycle is very fast. Thank you. 
this way we are play, playing our own compositions the on the spot creation it is called uh, where according to the sense of the tune we are improvising our playing so this is the main uh, uh, what you can say the area of the playing of this instrument now on the this is a we are because because we have a time constraint so now i am going to just explain you the areas of music how the in the india the different different uh, types of music and uh, its importance in the life also and as a part of culture so i am just going going to show you the ppt just a minute Just enlarge, enlarge. Yes. Can you see this PPT? Okay. Yes, we can. Yeah, just. Yes. Okay. Is it perfect now? Yes, it's perfect. Yes. Yeah. So now this the, the picture that you are uh, see it there are different different traditional instruments string and percussions like that and uh, these are the main elements of Indian music that I have just mentioned the singing playing and dancing and all these category three main category has the sub categories like uh, classical semi-classical, non-classical and folk and all this Indian music is based on main three elements the sur that is notes like our uh, do re mi fa sol la ti or in the keyboard we are using like C D E F G A B C same way in Indian music it's called as sa re ga ma pa dha ni sa seven notes so this, are, this is known as sur Second is tal, and third is lay. Lay means speed. In which speed you want to perform or present your uh, own music. And the, in the, all these categories, tal is a main element in which uh, we have to, uh, because for the dance without rhythm, it is not possible. For the singing, sur and tal, both are important, like that. Now, Influence of tabla in Indian music. Being a tabla player, I just uh, mentioned you before that this is a versatile instrument and it used for all kind of different different music style. So these are some style like Indian classical music. Then Indian film music. Might you know that Indian film is so much popular in all over the world. It is known as Bollywood. And in Bollywood. Music is a main element as a part for the part of uh, as a, for the film because in Indian films the songs are very much important as a part of the uh, story and for the songs there there it required music and from 1940 if I'm not wrong the music is so much influenced on Indian films and after a certain uh, era the music has been changed is uh, the style of playing the style of singing everything is changed so if you compare the music before and right now you will find a different so many so much change in the music same way instrumental music then semi-classical music semi-classical means that I just mentioned the names like Ghazal, Bhajan Kawali, etc. What is a semi-classical? Semi-classical means whether it's based on the uh, traditional music of India, but according to the different different culture of the states of India, the people are used to develop their own style of music. 
and it comprises of the their own folk and classical elements together and it create a new style of music and the ghazal bhajan and qawwali are the different different forms of the singing devotional singing then the patriotic singing so many styles are there and tabla is mostly used for all this kind of music next is this is the i'm just going to show you the what is the bollywood music and how was uh, how was it before and i'm just i have one video as a uh, song song video uh, this movie is i think pictureized in uh, late 70s just enjoy this music so this is a very long song but can you i just want to explain that uh, the character who is playing tabla is a very senior uh, actor and he was doing the rendition of the tabla composition on that this uh, heroines are dancing and this form of dance is called as kathak dance and they are expressing the words in the songs with their actions and accompanied by the tabla so this is the way the pure traditional music is there and it's used in indian film also the second example now i'm just going to show you the instrumental music and uh, this is uh, fortunately it is my own video so uh, just see this. Uh, he is a very uh, famous uh, son, this instrument is called as santur and uh, he is my one of the best friend and is very famous artist of gujarat and uh, just listen this instrumental music Thank you. 
sorry because we have less time so i have to go forward uh, the next is uh, yes i explain about the ghazal i just utter the word ghazal so what is that form just see uh, in this video the all the singers and artists are very legend of indian music you can see on tabla he is a very famous international artist ustad zakir hussain and uh, the singer is a uh, padma shri means he is a very legend singer uh, his name is hariharan just listen their form of the ghazal how they are presenting <laughs> so the singing what they, he is going to he was singing the form of the singing is so long and uh, they are improvising on the spot so it's a big video that's why i just stop in the in between but uh, these are the categories of indian instruments uh, the string instruments the wind instruments the percussion and uh, the ghana ghana so i'm just going to going to show you the pictures of these instruments just watch it you can see the uh, different style of the instruments and categories the string instruments in string instruments there are two categories the tat and vitar that what is that the instruments on the screen left side are striking instruments with the plectrum or with the sticks but in the right side the all instruments uh, known as uh, the israj the violin and sarangi are played with the bow so these are the main categories of the string instruments there are so many instrument like the veena the tanpura the ek tara the sitar mohan veena is is same as guitar but is a innovative version of guitar then santu i just you just heard this instrument now the another is wind instruments the extreme left side is known as shankh the conch uh, is also used to play in temples at the time of worship of the god then the flute uh, maybe you know the uh, lord krishna it's his own instrument then the harmonium then the shahnai the, the sundari and the bean all these are the some are the folk instruments also as a wind instruments then uh, another is percussion so what is the meaning of percussion the instrument which on the surface of the instrument the it is made by the skin of the animals like goat or buffalo so that the tabla the skin is also used uh, uh, which are used uh, formed by the uh, skin of the goat okay and the, the biggest instrument that you can see in the center it's pakhavaj it is very ancient instrument of india then the brudangam extreme right and the damru you can see in the extreme left of the screen it is a instrument of lord shiva so our culture indian culture is we are relating related to the god the instrument the style of the singing the so we what we learn we are thinking that we are worshiping to the god this is the belief now another thing is the all these instruments are the folk instruments you know that in india there are so many states and each state has its own music and culture so in instrument also these instruments are belonging to the different different states like dhol you can north india then dholak then the nal in the center central india then the khol the extreme Uh, left down the bluish color instrument is used in the uh, eastern 
India. Then the, the sticks instrument is the big, bigger one. It used in the temples at the time of worship. And that person who is playing with the stick, this is a very traditional folk instrument of uh, southern uh, west, southwest uh, part of the India. So you can see so many variation and varieties of instrument. Now this is a ghanavadya, which are made by the metals. Now you will see that in between there is a small pot. It is made by the different different uh, metals and covered with the uh, mud or mud, mud kind of thing. And we used to play with the hand. And the person is playing is called as jal taran. There are different different size of bowls which are tuned with the help of the water and it's tuned in our scale like C D E F G A B C do re mi fa sol la ti and he is used to play with the stick. So the the and the extreme left up is manjira then the gumru which used to uh, by the kathak dancers the dance you have just seen in that song. Uh, the dancer has to be wear this kind of ghungru in in their legs. So these are some few glimpses of the instruments, and these are the famous Indian musicians. And uh, you can see their uh, their photo with the different different instruments because they are known for that particular instrument worldwide. You can see their names. So Pandit Ravi Shankar ji there, then uh, Pandit Shiva Kumar Sharma. So then the uh, and Rajan. So these people are milestones for Indian instrumental music, and we follow them uh, deeply. So this is just a brief introduction of instrumental music of India, and I hope that you like this. And uh, thank you very much for this kind. Your observation and listening. So, yeah. Just a minute. I'm just switch over to the screen. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. Now I just going to request Georgie to please explain in brief about this instrument and uh, just demonstrate the importance of this instrument. Okay, uh, jó napot kívánok. Uh, egy pár mondatban szeretném bemutatni a szitárt, uh, ami India egyik leggyakrabban használt uh, uh, húros hangszere. Uh, igazából 1200-1300-as évekből számozik Perzsia területeinről, ami mai Irán, és még a mogul uralkodás alatt került Indiába. Indiába a neve akkor úgynevezett sektár volt, ami három húrt jelent, még három húros volt a, a hangszer, állati bélből készítették a húrokat, és a Amir Kusró nevezetű nevű költő zenész alakította ki a szitár végleges mai formáját. Ami érdekes, hogy nagyon sok, sok húr található, tehát igazából 18-19 húr, de ebből igazából egy húron játszunk, ez a játszó húr, és gitárszerű, de, de végül is hosszan irányban zenélgetünk. És elég nagy kihívás egyébként, hogyha az ember gyorsan játszik, akkor végül is az egy húron képezni a hangokat. A felépítése a szitárnak, amit mondtam, van ez a játszó húr, ami egy régen elefántcsontból, de most már, hát mivel tilos, ezért legtöbbször teve vagy, vagy, vagy egyéb szarf csontokból készült 
üléken áll, aminek íves a, a feladat a része, és ez az ív miatt egy ilyen rezgő, rezgő hangot ad. A, a főső hússor alatt találhatóak az úgynevezett taraf, a szimpatikus húrok, aminek az a célja, hogy a rága bizonyos hangjaira felrezonáltalán lehet hallani, hogy, hogy a, a hang, a lefogott hangra egy, egy ilyen érdekes rezgést produkál, és ez adja meg a szitának a, a, a különleges hangzását. A másik jellegzetesség a hangszernek, hogy a bundok íveltek, és ezt teszi lehetővé, hogy hajlítani tudjuk a hangokat. És igazából ezt a hangszert az, e, az emberi éneknek a, a reprodukálására e, találták ki, tehát az ének hang a legtökéletesebb hangszer, és ennek megfelelő egyébként pontosan az éneknek megfelelő e, három oktávot lehet rajta e, játszani. E, igazából um, Európában is ismerté vált, a legnevesebb képviselője Ravi Shankar volt, aki a 60-70-es években több koncertet adott rockfesztiválokon, talán emlékeznek még a Woodstockra, Monterey Fesztiválra, és az ő hatására több nyugati együttes is átvette a, a, a szitárt, a Beatles, a legnevesebb talán, Rolling Stones, még a Metallica is játszott citáron. Manapság már még, még meg lehet találni jazzfúziós együtteseknél, de, de inkább az úgynevezett klasszikus indiai zenében indiai zenészek használják a, a hangszert. Még csak annyit, hogy érdekesség, hogy igazából ez a gold egy tökből készült, tuna, tuna fából, elég szép kivitelű, nagyon sok munka óra van egy ilyen hangszernek az elkészítésével, szép faragásokat lehet rajta találni, tehát igazából gyönyörű esztétikai élményt is ad, nem csak a hangja és, és, és a, és a játék. Hát ennyi volt a szitár, és esetleg még megkérem a Círai Ügyit, hogy, hogy a rága szer- szerkezetéről még. Maybe you can speak about the rága, rága a little bit? Yeah, rága is a basic melodies, which are, which in India we believe that rága is a basically Uh, created it's a unique melodies from, from the form from the seven notes thus i explain you that the doremi fa solati is same as in india is known as sare gama padanisa and the chromatic notes that we are used to know as as a komal sar or tivra so like for example sare gama suppose i want to use a ray like a chromatic Sare Gama. So with the, the seven main notes and the five chromatic notes, so we have a 12 notes. With help of these 12 notes, uh, the experts and uh, in ancient time, the who, who were an expert in music and the creator of this kind of uh, music, they have created so many ragas, the melodies, basically it is known. And it is a unique form. So, for example, 
there is one rag just i think uh, george is just playing it was uh, the name of the raga is gorak kalyan so it is a unique form so no other rags uh, melodies match with this melody that why it is a unique melody and it is improvised by the artist on the stage and uh, expertise expertise so i request georgi just uh, play some melody and uh, we can start the fast jhala kind of thing first, okay yeah so, it's the same melody so in in the raga uh, it always starts with a, a piece called ala where uh, only uh, the sitar is playing alone and uh, now i ju just to show show you a, a very short uh, piece and then we go into the fast part Ez, ez igazából bemutatja ez az alap a rágának a bizonyos hangjait, és utána e, következnek a főtételek, és most egy nagyon rövid, gyors tétel bemutatunk a család. this is a just a small presentation uh, on our part and uh, now i request uh, all the students and uh, if you have any questions you can ask and uh, we will try our best to justice your question so now we are uh, at that particular juncture of the program where all the students and teachers also of course 
uh, can present their questions or any queries that they have concerning this performance as well as anything related with indian music you can uh, put it up um, for dr chirayu bhole and uh, whatever georgie uh, any question for georgie so um, you can uh, ask in hungarian we, we can even do interpretation that's not an issue so whoever wants to ask a question can unmute yourself and ask the question uh, i i would like to ask that is it hard to play on the sitar yes yes it's it's very very difficult to play so i i would compare uh, like like uh, playing in a while five six years to, to learn and uh, the difficulty is here is actually it's quite physical so 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 you need uh, strength and, and also the mind so 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 when when you do uh, uh, um, stretching. Uh, stretching the thing you, you need to to have a very accurate accurate you need to reach an accurate uh, tone and that is that is very difficult but very enjoyable very enjoyable so so if any of, of you would like to try then 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 please please do thank you welcome any question from any student i'm sure you must be having a lot of questions inside you feel free you can ask in hungarian as well we have an interpreter here we are eager to give your an uh, answer for your question la ke vas dena kirdesen hogy a sitar az milyen arban lehet kapni drága nagyon Uh, hát elég drága a hangszer, uh, igazából föl, főleg azért fel a, a sok uh, kézi munka. Hát azt lehet mondani, hogy uh, olyan 6-700 dollár nagyságrendben már, már lehet kapni, de, de hogyha ha igazi ilyen versenyhangszert szeretne az ember, az, az már inkább a 1500-2000 dollár nagyságrend. Itt Magyarországon is lehet venni ezt a szitát? Magyarországon is lehet venni, de inkább azt lehet mondani, hogy rendelni. Itt a követségen van egy szitár tanár, Tóth Szabolcs a neve, és hogyha őt, őt megkeresitek, van honlapja is, akkor ő tud segíteni a szitár vásárlásában. Köszönöm szépen. Kérem. I have a question. Yeah, please. Uh, how long have you been playing your instruments? Oh, when I was 10 years old, my mother inspired me to learn this instrument. And uh, from that day till today, I'm just learning. And uh, to, we can't uh, challenge that I'm an expert on this level, no. Because, because this is a continuous process of learning and we it is a very joyful just as uh, georgie said that it is very joyful work when you don't know what is the composition and when you learn and when you go to that particular level of the composition that journey is so much joyful so when in i have seen so many artists in europe also when they are playing the violin very very uniquely they are played with uh, the fingers and bow so i can understand how much effort they are putting every day and it's a continuous effort but it's a joyful effort so i must say that uh, from last 30 years i'm learning and uh, i never get bored when i i was practicing and practicing so this is a strength of music Great, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, 
students and, uh, who want to ask any student who wants to want wants to ask about uh, music or anything about india also if you have any interest any question please put it up yeah because and i in about the uh, instrument is it harder to play those drums than the uh european drums i don't know how to call that no there is i can't compare the harder or very easy because uh, it is depend on the individual prospect also because in perspectives because uh, drums we have to use with the both the legs and both the hands so it has a different techniques here this instrument is used to play with the palm only and you have to give the strength from your shoulder yeah it is rightly you said that for the first beginning of the learning we have to use to get the tone from your finger like this to bring this tone from in the first step it is little required more effort though in the drums like with the sticks uh, instrument this first step is not there but obviously to get an expert eyes in the different different percussion you have to make a same effort as same as this or whatever drums whatever so i can't compare for this uh, is this harder or that is harder no and when you hit the drums isn't it play isn't it painful uh yeah in the beginning it is painful but uh, with, with the habit it uh, your hand will get uh, habituated with uh, playing uh, means sometimes it happens here like this and the fingers are little bit uh, on the skin it is happen but it's with the continuous practice it will uh, you are habituated with the thing so there is no problem and you guys go to uh, concerts or anything like this sorry sorry pardon please uh, do you guys go to uh, concerts or anything like this yeah 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 we, we are means uh, uh, i'm talking about the uh, am, I, am i playing in the concert like that yes yeah 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 there are so many different different concerts uh, and uh, there are some organizations also who are promoting the indian percussion and indian music so and tabla nowadays from last 50 years it is on the top in the indian percussions oh and uh, in thank the worldwide you. also yeah thank you very much mm -hmm. and for your kind information here hungary i can i can find so many uh, uh, students who are keen to learn tabla and they are doing very well Uh, can I ask you a question? I I have question. And yeah, how long did it take you to learn that? Yeah, basically for any instrument, this is my belief, and experts also saying that to learn any kind of form of the music, you have to give seven years minimum to come at a particular level. So uh, seven years, if you learn properly, then you will achieve one uh, particular level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Can I ask you a question? Please, please. Um, that in uh, Bollywood musics, um, we play uh, any uh, European uh, European yeah. uh, instruments like. Uh, electric guitar yes. or just in india are the indians uh but i don't know how to say it but in india are the people who plays an instrument um is there uh, any electric guitar at all in india? yeah see if i'm not missing and you want to ask that in bollywood music in indian music are the western or european instruments are used or not Am yes I right? yes yeah yes. definitely see this is the that i want to say that the when the bollywood 
uh, is uh, started. I think I, I, if I'm not wrong, in yeah. 1940, the first film is uh, produced or in, uh, come on the screen, and the music also influence in the music are uh, these films. From that era to this uh, uh, present situation, the music is so much changed, and. Uh, before only indian classical element was there in film slowly slowly according to the situation has changed and the music directors vision has changed and they used the indian classical music with the help of the western instrumental music and they have created so many different different kind of music for the film so if you can go to the youtube and if you search what is a bollywood music then you can find the different different structure of the music and how okay. the western instrument piano guitar bass then the horn, horns so many things okay okay thank you yeah in fact i will just like to share one small uh, clip for everybody it's a little bit uh, 1970s uh, little videos for your business with hundreds of templates designed to get them performing their best with Vimeo Create. So it's a it's a 1970s kind of a Bollywood film and just see during those days also how they were using different kind of instruments. I'll just share it for you. You can see it for yourself. I just shared one small clip. It was, of course, the opening of a song where uh, this pop singer is singing and asking everybody, "Have you ever fallen in love?" And all the audience is shouting that, "Yes, we have also fallen in love." And then they are singing this beautiful song, and you could have seen how many other instruments were used. Now, in modern times, also you will find a very good amalgamation of uh, traditional instruments. and modern instruments in indian film songs not just bollywood but there are many 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 hundreds of industries film industries in india of different languages and they all use amazing combination of modern instruments and traditional instruments nice man thank you so um i am sure all of you have enjoyed this uh, one one and a i mean uh, around one hour presentation of indian classical music with two of our gurus present here artists present here dr chirayu bhole and uh, mr george molnar both of them presented two traditional instruments and the combinations that can be done with the help of the rhythm and the melody 
So the, the ancient uh, ragas and talas were presented in front of you. And any one of you, whoever is interested to learn these instruments, you know where you have to come. You can just contact us and we will help you know, get more information, know more information about these uh, forms of performing arts and musical instruments. And you can even learn it from here. Thank you very much, all of you, all the students. I'm very happy to see that so many students joined this workshop. And I would like to inform you that we will have, in a couple of months, similar workshops on only Indian traditional and folk dances, only for you. Please continue um, you know, liking our uh, Indian culture, Indian music, Indian art, and we will bring all that for all of you. Soon we will have physical events and we will be happy to come and visit you and present something interesting for all of you. I hope all of you have enjoyed. Thank you very much. Um, representatives from all the schools, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Have a great thank day. You. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Oh, goodbye. Have a great day. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Chirayuji, you have to stop recording. Yeah.